lucky enough you can buy it obviously in straight pieces uh, flat stock steel uh, this one is um, a stainless steel you can get all sorts of different kinds two different you're looking at obviously your carbon steels which is your high carbon stuff uh, benefits for it is very easy to maintain um, as in keeping a, a nice sharp edge on them uh, a downside for them is if you don't look after it they will go rusty and especially when you're using them for if, if you're using them for deer or any animals or anything like that you get blood on them um, the blood will eat into the steel quite easy so it, it tarnishes them so you have to be uh, sort of like uber careful with them sort of thing most of the time though i'm using stainless steel um, for mainly my stalking knives so uh, flat bar get me a piece of um, stainless steel and then what i'll do is i'll move on to basically um, i'll put a bit of this blue stuff on so I can mark up the steel uh, with whatever pattern that I want to use. Uh, the uh, ABL is made for um, uh, as a razor blade steel, and there's another steel that's a, a Sheffield one, which is SF100. Again, it's specifically for the cutlery industry. So when you're saying made for making knives, I mean, you know, you you want it to hold an edge, but you don't want it to be too brittle. So you want it to be sharp, but not yes. too yeah. sharp to snaps. And you also um, stainless, you don't want it to rust, or yes. you want it to rust because you want it to be carbon. Well, again, when you, it's sort of like you get, you're rusting. So if you wanted uh, to acid etch your blades, which I do every now and again with some of mine. Carbon steels will darken a lot better, so it, it, it makes a, a better contrast. Uh, when you're using um, the like a stone wash, it, it scratches the surface on it, so you get that contrast between the very dark um, acid etch and then you've got the, the, the lighter um, steel coming through from the scratches. Um, other steels, when you start to mix them together uh, and you get your Damascus patterns, um, a dammer steel is a, a, a maker of, uh, of steel, so they'll, they make particular patterns and they'll use two, two different steels that will etch, uh, sorry, that will etch at different rates. So one steel will it'll etch away a little bit quicker, so therefore make a, a deeper pattern uh, with the other steel staying on the surface. So it's got that contrast between the two steels. Again, it doesn't necessarily, because the two, um, on that particular type of steel, it's two different uh, stainless steels. So it doesn't bring the darkness up, where if you're using two different uh, carbon steels uh, and one etches away a little bit more, you can actually make it darker by putting um, coffee with it, what they call a coffee etch. So it's definitely a lot, a lot stronger than using um, an espresso, um, where you put it into a warm coffee, the coffee then eats into the steel as well, so that'll darken it off. The lower steel stays that dark colour, while that the top layer of steel is the one that you polish up and brings up um, nice and bright. And that's real coffee. Yes. And do you, people find that out by spilling coffee? More than likely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Down Starbucks and put it in. 